Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Al Stock Trades. This is going to be a very informative video. There's a lot of things we need to discuss. So we're going to go ahead and get right through it. And I'm going to walk you through kind of a logical process of me basically watching this GNS uh, short squeeze. So uh, we went ahead and yesterday, uh, literally at 1134 in the morning on uh, January 18, I messaged our private stock terminal. I said, I asked him, I said, who is this Mr. Rogers guy? This was before the short squeeze happened. I looked into him because he went ahead and he followed me on my Twitter at All Stock Trades. And I was like, okay, well, he's the CEO of G GNS. And I was like, well, let me do some due diligence about the guy. And um, yeah, our, our, our uh, terminal uh, uh, found some really interesting things that I want to discuss with the retail community. So overall, if you are a part of our stock terminal at... On January 15 at 12 in the morning, uh, we went ahead and our system was able to catch a popular ticker. Um, it seems to me that maybe people already knew about this particular type of investigation. I don't know what happened, but our essentially radar was able to pick up GNS at a price of 47 cents. And it started to show some interest within our popular screening terminal that we basically have which basically screens uh, the whole internet and basically finds stocks that um, you know you should put probably look a little bit more close into. So if you go ahead and go on January uh, 15, which is uh, what we have the, the the date here, the price was 47 cents. So if you go uh, literally a couple days right here, which is on the weekend, the 15 is so we'll just put it here. You can see that this for as, as at 40 is 47 cents. Um, people, you know, congratulations if you were able to capture that on our stock terminal. You're essentially up 340% plus. So congratulations on that. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and discuss a couple of things regarding this because I do, do see some merit, but I also want to add some fundamentals and also um, briefly just touch on the verbal fun, uh, fundamentals. But overall, before I do that, I want us to open up and do a quick technical analysis to see what the hell is going on with GNS. So if we go ahead and open up the charts here and type in the ticker symbol GNS, and this is part of our stock terminal. If you want to learn more about it, there'll be a link down below with a free trial. So if you look at the past 700 days for GNS, uh, getting kind of a big global picture, we can open up this interactive chart, which allows us to play with what's going on. So overall, you've seen the stock has been disseminated really really bad because of these short sellers from what I'm gathering. And what you can basically see here is the volume has been relatively dead. And all of a sudden, with this investigation going on, you saw a huge influx of volume, 269 million of volume, and literally shooting up, passing the 50 cents. Again, these are pre-planted support and resistance lines. Again, it helps our technical you know essentially helps you do diligence from someone trying to graph something you have the computer graph it for you and it's accurate and essentially you're able to out compete a day trader basically working off of 1960s and 70s type of uh phenomenon have a computer do it for you all right so overall you see that um it's interesting here where you have the 50 cents a dollar 30 cents and two dollars and ten cents and you can see the stock literally shot up and it hit this level of resistance at two dollars and ten cents now overall uh this is kind of where we're at right now uh, um and the, the the question is is it able to pass this and if it does the next level of resistance are going to be the fibonacci sequence retracements which you see here on the left at 224 but this thing can get really high and these are some of the particular support and resistance lines uh and uh um uh, that we definitely should be looking at, uh, you know, two, two, $2 and 10 cents, $3.45, five, seven, and then all up to nine and then 11. But then also you should pay, pay close attention to these intra type of Fibonacci sequence retracement. So it's definitely interesting to see the volume really makes me kind of scratch my head considering how big it is. Um, so overall for people that don't know what happened, uh, this particular individual that followed me, he went ahead and hired the ex FBI agent uh, to essentially take a look at this, you know, naked short selling and what they're doing with these types of synthetic shares. 
And honestly, there, there is wrongdoing of what these short sellers are doing. And what do you expect when you have the biggest Ponzi scheme like Bernie Madoff, which is a great documentary by any chance, you know, to, you should definitely watch it. Uh, we're actually uh, um, integrating and trying to get that forensic accountant to come to our uh, channel uh, so we can be able to uh, provide you guys more value. So please subscribe. Uh, but overall, um, you know, what do you expect, you know, when you have Bernie Madoff with his uh, Bernie Madoff fake hedge fund and, and honestly, another the other legitimate business controlling about, you know, five to seven percent of the stock market flow. I mean, it kind of scratches my head and makes me think of Citadel. So I understand what, and I and, and I and I empathize with the AMC and eight movements. And I get that. I understand where you're coming from. I, I understand there is manipulation in Wall Street. Uh, but you know, for someone who's you know financially responsible, you know, it, I, I just can't find it within my mind to put all my money, my life savings, and my children's life—I don't have children, but my future children's life savings—into um, one company. I mean, that just seems a little bit uh, not you know naive and extremely foolish, uh, which I've seen a lot of investors do—not investors, speculators, gamblers. So it's always important when you try to play these squeezes. At least for me, in my opinion, I like to put literally less than 5%, less than 3% of my portfolio. Again, it's more like very, it's, it's a fun way to essentially, you know, you know, I've seen some people, you know, make a few thousand bucks. Some people make a few, ten, it depends on, on what your portfolio essentially uh, percentage is, right? And that's between you and yourself, right? To, to basically utilize. So we help and provide the data due to this technicals to, to help you kind of get an idea of what other day traders are looking at. Um, but overall, we are, and I believe, going to start seeing more of these types of short squeezes as companies realize that this is an avenue. And now ex-FBI agents, lawyers, there's going to be, we're starting to see divisions and factions within law groups that are just going to be like, you know what, listen, there's a market here because they want to eat too, right? They Lawyers want to make money too. And they're going to be like, wow, there's something here. We can actually go ahead and do something about this. So there's going to be lawyers that are going to be strategic for short selling lawyers. And they're going to get a lot of more companies signing up. And you're going to start seeing a lot of these short squeezes happening, which, you know, you get an influx of not only retail investors, but also short, short, shorts, basically covering. Uh, so that's pretty much what's going on. Follow us. We're going to continue basically going ahead and covering this. Hello, hello, hello. We're going to go ahead and continuing to cover the story. But I wanted to go ahead and just talk about this. So again, yesterday, I feel like everything happened yesterday. So yesterday, my apologies for my delay in these making these videos. It's been really, it's been a hectic uh, week and uh, the vascular surgery. It's been definitely hectic, but I love every minute of it. But if you look at here on Wednesday, on January 18th, at 6 a.m. Uh, on Wednesday, I went ahead and I and um, I looked at something very quite marvelous. So we, you know, we've been tracking um, kind of dumb money, smart money again for people that don't understand. Whenever you sign up to a broker, you essentially tell them how much money you make. They put you as dumb money if it's under 100 million dollars. They obviously see your portfolio, they see your trades, they sell that data to hedge funds. Our basically platform goes ahead and buys that data from a former hedge fund. And also smart money is obviously people that basically have over $100 million that pretty much file through the SEC because of the 1976 Senate Congress law that basically allowed us to basically track trades of what billionaires and hedge funds are doing. I know that was a mouthful, but again, I want to do an introduction of what this graph is if you are unaware. So overall, we start to basically see dumb money shoot off like a rocket, literally a strong erection while smart money is stagnant. Smart money hasn't moved. Now, obviously, when you want advice for success, you're not going to go to someone who just is asleep, couch potato sitting and giving you about Life, success, you know, talks about life. You're going to watch smart money and you're going to want to move when they move because when they usually move, they tend to move at market bottoms or near market, you know, essentially swing trades to get into a nice movement. And if you just follow these particular movements, you make a lot of money. And people, we have people that just follow these trades, just follow the patterns of what smart money does and they make a killing, right? But overall, what we're starting to see, and I went ahead and talked about this. I said on yesterday at 6 uh, um, 01 a.m., literally one minute when I posted it, I was like, guys, take a look at this, right? Check this out. And then one of our amazing members says, retail doing retail stuff, about to hype some stocks up. Get your sell buttons ready in case there is there's an overinflated stock you hold. And that's exactly what happened. And it's funny because 
if you go ahead and check out what happened today, and, and if we zoom down and go down here, uh, dumb money doing what dumb money does. Now, all of a sudden, the stock, the next day, stock started to go down, dumb money starts selling, and then you have a bunch of stocks that are falling five, six percent, right? Because that's what's, you know, that's exactly what happened. So, I wanted to bring this to your radar to show you, you know, not trying to show you how easy it is, but it really is easy if you have the data and understand how the market moves and understand what variables add to the movement. And it took me 10 years plus to understand this. And I just want to go ahead and utilize YouTube as a surrogate to be able to democratize financial information to the most historically marginalized populations, populations that have been screwed over by Wall Street for literally hundreds of years. And it's time that we make a change, right? So that's what we're trying to do here. And I'm very honored to have um, Mr. Rogers, uh, the CEO of GNS, follow us. Uh, maybe we can get him on here you know, to talk a little bit more about his mission and what he's trying to do. I think he is paving a way. Uh, usually it's the individuals that have the hardest time in the beginning trying to pave away a movement in terms of trying to end these types of naked short sellings. And I get it. It basically goes ahead and you know, takes down companies that need the support of retail investors to be able to thrive. Again, a lot of these companies, if you look at it, they're, that, they're, that are heavily shorted, you know, they tend to be negative free cash flow and negative net income. So it's always important for the retail investor to do their due diligence to see uh, in terms of how risky the investment is. And we can do a Petrovsky score and an Altman score. So we'll be covering GNS because of this perspective, because, you know, we really want to see this through. We want to see this movement that I believe is brewing in terms of, you know, Wall Street, um, you know, putting Wall Street, uh, you know, their feet close to the fire because, you know, they've been winning for quite some time. And if you look at Americans, they've been, you know, if you go ahead and look at the weight of, let's say, $10 worth of coins, if you were to go in the 1950s, you know, you know, how many pounds of groceries do you walk out with? You know, it's either you got stronger and those groceries are not that heavy or something else happened. And it's very true. A lot of things happen, unfortunately. And a lot of Americans are struggling. A lot of layoffs are happening right now. And if you look at what the rich are doing right now, they're enjoying their money really damn well. So, um, so if you like this uh, content, please subscribe, comment. I really want to see what you guys have to say. And uh, if you guys are interested in seeing the data and the type of data that we offer, uh, there'll be a link down below, alstocktrades.com. We have a free day, uh, free seven day trial for, for people that are interested, no risk. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.